guys, Felix here, Capital Fishing. Um, today I'm just going to show you how to, or how I tie a basic dropper rig. Um, I'm going to start with some 50 pound trace and a swivel. I'm just going to push that through, grab both strands together, create a loop, and then go through that loop three or four times, then usually lubricate that a little bit by putting it in the mouth just to pulling it through my mouth so then the knot draws up nice and tight and easy like so. Trim off your tag end. So tie it on our swivel and then we come down about 150 or 200 and then we're just going to create a loop like so. With that loop create another loop and then we're going to go through that three times now when you draw this up you want to make sure that you draw it up underneath your thumbs and don't let go otherwise the knot will travel this way and end up and you end up with a, a really short loop which means it's going to sit very close to your backbone which is not not ideal and not what you want So that's one loop there, and then we're just going to come down about 200 odd and grab another loop like so. Again, create another loop with that loop. Go through there three times, draw that up under your fingers, like so. So then what we have is a swivel here, there's the first loop, second loop, and then we're going to come down about another 300, just clip that off. Now you can, if you wish, just loop your hook on by pushing it through. If you pinch that together, which I didn't do, but if you pinch that together properly, it'll go through the hook easy. And then loop it over the hook, draw that up, and then you've got your hook sitting out like so. Now I like to, rather than use a double strand like that and just loop the hook on, I like to have a look at my dropper loop and I'll cut the bottom strand like so. I'll have these about 150 long. So trim that back to about 150 long from your knot. What I like about this is just having a single strand means it's a lot less obvious to the fish and lies a lot more naturally. Now I'll get a little bit of the silicon um, tube which you cut into little, little pieces like that and then you go through once, loop it back through pull that tight and now you've got a really nice little silicon knot that you can slide up and down on your line. Now what that's great for is if you're using um, float beads like so or like so, it means that once you've put your float bead on and tied your hook on, which I do with a uni knot, so through the eye of the hook, grab both strands together go through there three times and then you can just draw that up like so off your tag end and then you can 
drop your float bead back down and then put that rubber stopper behind it which is going to stop that float bead drifting all the way up here and your bait just sitting on the bottom sort of de defeats the purpose of a little little slow bead having said that it's also the visual side of it that that attracts attracts fish to it um and the high high uv a lot of the beads have so that's my first hook i'm gonna come down here so this has still got the loop so what we do is i have a look at the loop uh, find out what one the bottom strand is which is that one give it a trim usually leave a little bit of length there not too worried about that come up here about 150 cut that off get your silicon tubing go through once and twice pull that tight and that's going to end up being a knot now you could use a bigger float bead or different style if you wish get your hook through the eye of the hook create that loop through the loop three times Draw that up, cut your tag end off. You can slide that silicon knot back down again. It's quite nice too because it means that you can actually slide the bead away while you're baiting and then slide it back down as needed or when required. So there we have it a two hook ledger rig, swivel, and we've got one hook like so, another hook. And then we've got the end and your tie your sinker on there now this visual the visual side of of any sort of beads like this is can make a big difference not always but can make a big difference um if you imagine yeah you've got a you've got a beach um with a a, a big sort of sandy bottom um where everything looks the same and then you imagine you put a high vis thing like that down um it's really going to capture the attention of a fish from quite afar that's going to go oh what's that red thing over there and cruise over and have a look so it can make a big difference um particularly for gurnard and um and snapper they can they can really respond well to that sort of thing so that's the a two hook ledger rig now i'm going to show you a i'm going to do a little one hook ledger rig as well which is basically the same but just not with two hooks there's only one small difference and you'll see that in a minute so again start with our 50 pound trace and a swivel grab both strands through that loop three or four times run that through your mouth wet the line draw that up nice and tight from your tag end then we're going to come down a bit further this time it's probably about 300 ish create that loop again with that loop we create another loop go through there two three times drawing the knot up under our fingers like so nice and tight so then we've got the swivel, one hook, or one loop, sorry. Cut that again, so we've got a nice long strand. Just clip that off. We're going to make this one a bit longer, and you'll see why. So then we're going to come get a measurement of your hook length down towards where your sink is going to be is there then we're just going to go a bit further like so and we're going to trim that off now the hook length pretty self-explanatory we'll get our silicon tubing like so push it through 
twice to create that knot. Get our float, float bead if we're, if we're using one. Our hook. Tie on our hook. Again, uni knot, so through the eye of the hook. Create a, a loop. Then go through that loop three times. And then we're just going to draw that up nice and tight. Clip off that tag end. Okay, and then this end, we're actually going to put a what's called an imp clip. So again, just tie that on with the uni knot. Clip that off. Just grab a sinker. So then these here, you can pull a sinker on like so. And this is a release clip to hold your bait down by your sinker. Now a lot of people only use these on a running rig, which we'll do another video on how to tie a running rig. But I actually use it on a single hook dropper rig as well. So then what would happen is you bait up. That would be get clipped in there. And you would cast like so all the tension and all the stress going from your hook right through and running straight through to this swivel up here which means you're not putting any any excess tension on that on the knot um, now when you cast this out this hits water the paddle and releases your hook so it gives you the benefit of fishing a a dropper rig with the advantage of um, the distance being clipped in behind your sinker and it's quite amazing how much difference it'll make just simply something simple like that having your um, your bait clipped in behind your sinker meaning it's so much more aerodynamic and it's not doing this out the side of the rig so yeah those are sort of two that two hook ledger rig and this this one hook clip down ledger rig are, are two of sort of my preferred rigs and to be fair I probably do uh, about 70% of my fishing with um, with the style or the style of the rig. If you need any more info, um, flick us a message or um, give us a ring or pop in if you're if you're passing through or if you live in the Wellington region. And sometimes it's a lot easier just to kind of um, do it in practice and have someone there to show you physically as opposed to watching a watching a video. But uh, yeah, if you have any, any issues, give us a ring, flick us a message or uh, pop in store.